Hi, I'm PGA professional Jeff Dean, and this is your SCGA swing tip. So if you've ever found yourself in a situation where you have to hit a high lofted wedge in a very short distance, say in this situation around a green, I'm going to show you a couple of tips that are going to help you to hit the ball higher and stop the ball uh, quickly onto a green. Uh, first of all, I always choose my most lofted wedge. I carry a 60 degree wedge, so I, I'm going to start with that. Uh, the second piece of the puzzle here is uh, I'm going to set up to the golf ball where the ball position is actually going to be slightly forward of the middle. And then the last piece here is I'm actually going to add loft to my wedge. So even though it says 60, I'm going to add a little bit more loft to it so that I can actually hit it up in the air. When we take our golf swing, we're going to have a little bit more active wrists. I'm going to take the swing and create more leverage in my wrists so that when I release the club, it will activate the bounce and the ball will go higher in the air. This is not a long drawn out swing like a driver, but a lot more wrists uh, than you would think. So let's take a look at this shot. You're going to have the ball position slightly forward, club face a little bit open, and you're going to actively set the wrists in this shot and then let it release. Here we go. Ball pops up in the air, lands on the green softly, and runs out to the target. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more SCGA swing tips.